So we've got this point C, and that's located at the coordinates negative 2 comma 5. And we want to know a graph of which of the following equations would pass through that point C. So we've got the equation negative 3x plus 5y equals 8, negative 2x plus 5y equals 4, 2x minus 3y equals negative 12, 3x plus 2y equals 4. So the idea is to, to do this, um, it's basically just sort of a, a brute force check. And the idea is if you substitute in the x value of negative 2, the y value of positive 5, when you do the arithmetic on the left side, you want it to equal the value on the right. If so, that equation would go through that point, and if not, it doesn't. Okay, so again, we've got the point negative 2, comma 5. So let's see if solution A works. So I, I would have negative 3. Okay, so uh, again, for x, I'm going to substitute in negative 2 plus 5 times y. So my y value is positive 5. And I'm going to write a little question mark. Does that actually equal positive 8? Well, negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 is going to be positive 6. Positive 5 multiplied by positive 5, that's 25. Well, does 6 plus 25 equal 8? No, definitely not, because we get 31 on the left side, and positive 8, again, is on the right side. So solution A is not the correct answer. And this is what we're going to do for all of them, just kind of just run through and, and check them. So kind of a, a tedious little problem, but it's okay. So let's see, does B work? Here we would have negative 2 multiplied by negative 2. Again, that's my x value that I'm su substituting in. Plus 5 times 5. And again, the question is, does that equal positive 4? Well, negative 2 multiplied by negative 2, that's going to be positive 4 plus 5 times 5, which we just saw, hey, that's 25. That's definitely not going to add up to positive 4. So part B is also not, answer choice B isn't going to be a solution. Let's look at um, C here. So we would have 2 multiplied by negative 2 minus 3 multiplied by 5. And again, the question is, does this equal negative 12? Well, 2 multiplied by negative 2, that's negative 4. Negative 3 multiplied by 5, that's a negative multiplied by a positive, which is going to be a negative. 3 times 5 is 15. Well, negative 4 minus negative 5, that's negative 19. And no, negative 19 is not the same as negative 12. So choice C doesn't work. Um, if it was me on a multiple choice test, I would be... I would circle D and go on to the next one, but let's just check and make sure. So 3 multiplied by negative 2 plus 2 multiplied by 5, does that equal positive 4? Well, 3 multiplied by negative 2, that's negative 6. 2 times 5 is going to be 10. Does that equal 4? Yeah, it does, because negative 6 plus 10 is going to be positive 4. And we finally got a match. So it looks like answer choice D is going to be the correct answer in this case.